Hello guys and welcome to The Man in the Attic Where there's a man in the attic, let's begin When I was a kid I often had the same nightmare It was about this man, just standing in my room looking at me I was convinced that he came from the attic for some weird reason I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time and when I had this dream, I often spoke loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There's a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out, as it should. In the middle of the night, a couple of times... Well, um... That wasn't well... well <coughs> sorry. Well read. I am an adult now. And that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Or is it? Find phone. Oh. Phone? Where is phone? Um. Phone? Hello? Where is the phone? Dark hallway. Ah, uh, yes. Yep, um, the man in the attic is probably over there. But, uh, first, let me find my phone. Where, where, where the hell is my phone? Where is my phone? Give me my phone. I want my phone. Well, something te tells me it's outside. I definitely do think it's in the attic. If it is, it'll be a very short game. Like a very short- Oh, it's this is not the attic, is it? Hey, I found my phone. Hey, brother, just wanted to let you know that we arrived home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time. Nice to catch up also. I have to apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are and their imagination. Probably were very tired as well. He definitely did see... I, I mean, she definitely did see the man in the attic. I think. Okay, I should clean up first. Ooh. Clean up the dining table. There is nothing to be cleaned. Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven-year-old daughter. Her name is Lily, and technically she's my niece. It's been a while since I last seen them, so I spent half an hour catching up with each other, t just talking, and after a while I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all, adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle. Self-credit is there. Um, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all of the cartoon channels, left her there to watch some TV. Away from boring adults, she was grateful. Okay, that's the kitchen. Do the dishes. The night went on, and it seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us, and that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified, it took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this, there was a man upstairs, the man upstairs, staring from the doorway, confused perhaps a bit. Frightened, we all went upstairs and searched everything, checked the attic as well. We only 
to find nothing. Eventually, my brother is dismiss dis <coughs> sorry, talking problem. Dismissed Lily's stories and claimed she was probably just getting tired. And soon they left for the night. I am one again, completely alone in the house. And Lily's story sounds way too familiar. Oh, um, well, that kind of sucks. I don't think I need to check the attic right now. I hope. Oh, so? The attic is upstairs there. Okay, okay. Let's not go into the attic. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from the doorway, before turning to the attic like in my dreams. Okay. Anyways, let's get some sleep. Noises, they're coming from the attic. Oh. Now that's a bad idea, my guy. Come on, we can just go to sleep and not do anything. Oh god. Oh god. I have to search the attic. Oh, come on. I I didn't want to search the attic in the first place. So, if my character dies here, well, I I think he will. I have no hope. Don't remember leaving this door open. Okay, I'm just gonna go forward. And, um, I I'm not gonna look. Actually, I have to look. Oh, fuck. Uh oh, I am getting freaked out. Hello? You're stupid, there's nothing up here. I hope so, but in story logic, there must be someone up here. Don't you fucking jump scare me. I'm literally standing right now. Let me go to sleep. Yep, I will go back to bed. Sometimes strange noises at night keep you awake, then you actually search for the cause, but you won't find anything, and you question it once more. Is the man in the attic real? I'm moving on my own. Is he real? Well, I don't hope so. Please don't fucking jump scare me. I swear to God. Th this could be a peaceful ending. Come on. Good. This was a peaceful ending. Fear is subjective, but not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic, or the man in the basement, perhaps the man under your bed. Yes? Continue? Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. 
Nothing happened. What? I I was I was on my toes going to, going to the man in the attic. I was literally standing up and there was no one. Well, anyways, uh that was a very scary game, but there was no scare. So, Oh. Yeah, I uh, guess this is the end of the video. Bye.